Hello there, Beard here. Good afternoon, hello, and welcome back to episode three of Mutton for Punishment. Phenomenal name. Um, straight in then with the two fellas who are the play-ups into Farmers. So, Connor, let's go through the cards first of all and talk about them in terms of the Shepherds. And then yep. a little chat about where we think they're going to fit into Farmers as well. So, let's start with Lamb. Um, Two-inch melee zone because he's a human in Shepherds. Um, Five-seven movement. Solid. Like, solid. Yeah. Yeah. Attack four. Nah. Um, Three-six kick. Oh, yeah. Mortician striker again. 3 0 defense. Boo. 2 3 influence. Yeah. Standard. Uh, for especially for. Well, it's 2 3 influence for a planter. I mean, where are the. Yeah, that's about are, right. That's They're about usually right. 2 3. Yeah. Playbook. 2 damage on 1. Again, that's sort of planter, reliable damage. I love it. Love it. Um, who needs 1 damage? Um, playbook. Momentous play on 1. Tackle on 2. Momentous push on 2. Knockdown on 3. And a three damage or a momentous double push on four. Mm, okay. Again, it feels plowman y, weirdly. Yeah, it's not uh, great. I mean, well, actually, Pla- what's Plowman's book is a lot better. What's Harrow's book like? Because there's a person I've used in season four. Uh, uh, he's got five. Yeah, but, it, um, it, but a five long book. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. okay. Uh, the, probably the best thing is that he's got a momentous play on one. Because yeah, has... I don't think you're really ever going to attack not aiming for the momentous play on one, yeah, unless yeah. you're going first with him to drop harvest markers and kill a model that's on two to four health. If, if, some, if someone's on six health and I've got three influence on him, then fine. Um, yeah, and a crowd out. I wouldn't like, and they're not mm, down. with yeah, tack four. Like yeah. even the one column isn't that reliable. <laughs> yeah, fair. Uh, so three character plays, the first of which you can hard cast and is once per turn. That's the only real difference in terms of mechanics behind them. So you have Warming Oven, which is sinister. Um, Target-friendly model re- recovers four health. Nice. Um, only once per turn, but that's probably for a good reason. Oh, yes. Uh, and a four-inch range. Um, sow the seeds we're familiar with. Place a friendly harvest marker within two. Weak point. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Um, and 20 health. So, is not great. Um, to be death honest. three and twenty, 20 death three and twenty health is probably about as valuable as what death four four one defense with with fourteen health. I'm not even sure it is to be honest. Uh, I uh, so to put this in perspective, you know how easily the herns go down. Um, <laughs> the herns have the exact same amount of boxes and are a three one. And a three one. Yeah, this guy. This guy is paper. Like if you're playing a takeout guild, you know, like me, um, this is your target. This, yeah. this is this is my first target. Um, the character plays are good. Like having a heal that non a non momentous based heal is solid. And yeah, like... and he can target himself, uh, mm. which does help. It means if you don't want it, if like a. You aren't one rounding him. He does get a little harder to kill if he can go first and just heal eight. Mm. Weak point doesn't feel super relevant for me, Um, mainly because as we've gone through these playbooks, the first couple of columns have been so reliable and good. Yeah, and I think the damage. I think where it's most useful is actually Mm. where I get the most use out of it with Sakana, which is where. The reason you are using it is to set up wraps for the momentum. Yeah. yeah. It's not okay. even about the damage. It's just about, like, you're in a race. You've got one of theirs taken prisoner. They've got one of yours taken prisoner. And you need to see who can generate the most momentum out of it. I mean, to be fair... It's solid. Like, the Ram is the first shepherd we have seen who doesn't have a momentous role result at the beginning and the end of their playbook. Um, Ram has very much a Mason playbook in that it's the yeah. other first three results are momentous, the last ones are non. Whereas even the pig has a momentum at the beginning and a momentum at the end. So, yeah, I can see Lamb and Herder having a sort of similar Corsair Sakana relationship in just. Also, oh, also interesting that Ram has the only momentous knockdown in faction. Oh, well spotted. I haven't seen that one. Uh, maybe Vet Honor? Nope, Vet uh, Honors is non-momentous too. So yeah, Ram is really 
leaning into that knockdown. <laughs> I mean, that's fair enough. The rest of the guild's all about the pushes. Um, yeah. Sow the seeds. I mean, if you really, you know, if you've got, if you're winning, if you want momentum and you want influence for next turn, sow the seeds is very, very solid. So uh, Lamb can drop the most harvest markers in the game in one interaction. That includes uh, Grange. The, oh, because Grange can drop four. No, yeah, but then he can legendary for for more. Yeah, so he only drops two, and then he legendaries for two more. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah, yeah. Gr Grange has no way to drop them on attacks. Lamb drops two and could hit three times to drop three more. Okay. Probably not going to come up, but, uh, but I it, do think that him going first and dropping three uh, harvest markers is definitely doable. And considering Ram only brings one, and this team's actually, like, it's not... What do you mean, Lamb only brings as, one? Sorry, um, Ram only drops Ram only brings one. Ram only drops uh, one, yeah, And the yeah. pig bings one. So you've got two from your other slots. Mm. So Lamb is really where you're getting your harvest markers from. Yeah. I mean, this is one of the things that I've sort of, as I've got, gone through these cards, and it's one of the, I'll, I'll come back to this on the episode where we sort of wrap it all up. Shepherds do not generate harvest markers as effectively or at the same range that farmers do. And yes. I, and I think Lamb, for all the sort of mer noises that I've made as I've gone through his card, due to planting mas Master on the reverse, where he can once per turn place two friendly harvest markers within four inches, that alone, pretty. I mean, if he's not an auto include, he's pretty close. For sure. Yeah, I think I think you do. Yeah, I think, and we'll get to his place in farmers, but I think in shepherds he doesn't really have competition in that slot no. because the other two planters that you have the choice of both only bring one and you don't have a planter captain. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, so if so I like, want to use um, the, the close control aura on herder and I want to use the herding abilities on hook and crook, I already need three harvest markers. Yeah. Uh, and I do think uh, this guy is basically just walking harvest markers. And that's fine. Um, and warming oven is good. Uh, uh, and the all, rest uh, of the card, I think, uh, isn't that relevant. I no, think no, he's no. there to put down harvest markers and to heal one of your models. He probably doesn't go first that often in a turn because of mm -hmm. that, um, because he doesn't do much, whereas Ram is a better first activation. Uh, but this is a very, like, second or third activation, setting up for the next turn, healing some stuff. Just, yeah. like, a very... It's a ba I think Lamb is the battery of the team. And also, he is a seven-inch range crowd out. That's, that's that's not bad. Like, you know, he's got a five-inch yep. jog and a two-inch melee. I can get work out of that. Lastly, yep. um, his punishment with hammer, workhorse, um, you can just put five harvest markers on the pitch wherever you want them. Yeah, which is good. Uh, uh, that's a hilarious I image. The, I think it's one of the weakest of the... Punishment mechanics, which I'm glad about, because the best ones should not be going to farmers. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. And I think the punish mechanic is actually a lot more relevant in farmers for lamb specifically. Okay, okay. Um, let's do Shearer, and then we'll have a chat about their various places in in their the two the two guilds that they can play for. Yeah. Um, so Shearer. And you know, for those of you that know me in real life will know how much Newcastle United Football Club has meant to me and my teams. Um, and for the rest of you, you just found out. So I was there's a, there was a little tear when I saw A, the, versus the model, and B, the fact that in his artwork, he's he's wearing um, the black and white. Um, the model looks exactly like Alan Shearer. I was very, very happy. And he's a two-inch striker. That's a strong opener. That is uh, a very good opener. Um, I don't, you know, I've been hanging around with Connor and Panzer long enough now to realize that two inch strikers are a, a thing that they like. Six, eight move, good. Um, tack five, good for a striker. Three, yep. six kick, bad uh, for a striker. Bad for a striker that isn't a mortician. Um, four row defense, in line bad. with what we'd, bad, in line with what we'd expect for a farmer's yeah. player. One, four influence, Reaper stat. Like, yeah, but the only but the only one of the farmer six who brings one. Yeah, the uh, which I six. think is mostly relevant in terms of thinking about bushel. Yeah, um, a really good striker playbook, I think. 
Uh, uh, I, act- I actually don't. I think okay. it's a very uh, limiting playbook as a striker. Momentous tackle on one is great. Okay. Uh, it is fantastic with uh, ta- with uh, the two inch reach and momentous balls going on three is, eh, it's not as good as you want it to be. It's the same as it is on grayscales. And I wanna, uh, yeah, I want to. You talk pretty about that. much never hit it. This is an interesting thing because when we look at balls gone, like balls gone mainly comes up on spigot. Spigot. Um. And it's just, honestly, the, it's just the spigots. It's on other models, but it so rarely comes up. I like mean, it's on, brisket that, has it on two as that, well. Yeah, briskets have it, but they're not really using it for that. Um, but yeah. the potential, and it is there, and it is worth pointing out. This is potential yeah. which grayscales and brisket have as well. But so and it, it is very good on a counter attack if you spike to it. Yeah, and also just no. If you're in your own activation, it's potentially a two momentum attack. If you can balls gone momentously someone and then successfully make the pass, which you don't have to make, it is a may. I really want to stress that um, you're potentially getting two momentum off one attack. It's worth yeah. pointing out. It's worth noting. Yeah. Um, uh, the sole reason. That Shearer does not have a great striker playbook, though, is his damage is momentous, but his dodges aren't, and which his, really his, lowers his ability to bounce around and score. And his double dodge also isn't till three on tack five. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's um, the first, so he's, he's the first shepherd yeah. to have two damage on two as opposed to two damage on one. Yeah, uh, so he's unlike, not proving that they are not Bushel. farmers. Unlike Bushel, who you can just you know. Oh no, put... Bush, Bushel's is Bushel's Bushel is two actually. Yep. Well, let me She's the only farmer whose two is on two. Well, I suppose it's consistent. Um, yeah, but the difference is Bushel's t- has a Bushel's dodge on one is momentous because it's momentous, tackle dodge yeah, yeah. now. I suppose, but she's the she's a one. And her ball is on two. two. It's true, but it has is non momentous. But Bushel has a much better playbook from in my eyes because um, of that tackle dodge on one. And just momentous double dodge on three. Mm-hmm. Um, like, she just dodges with the momentum. Um, and, yeah, so I think it's hard not to compare Shira and Bishop because they're the only real strikers in the guilds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and they're they both, both crossovers. Both, they're crossovers, yeah. um, And basically, Shira is worse in most ways but two very important ones, including the number one most important thing, which is two-inch reach. Yes. Uh, and uh, two-inch reach is two-inch reach. Uh, his counters aren't great, but being able to have a momentous tackle on one with two-inch reach is very, very good and means that you can't really put the ball on a one-inch reach model if you don't want him to get it. Yeah. Um, 16 health, so he does have more health than Bushel, but she has a, a better defense. Five zero, And she comes with close control, so oh, a she's shout. a lot less a good counterable. Why um, is my favorite football player of all time suddenly looking worse? <laughs> well, we'll, we'll, we'll get to it, because he he, he's got some things on the back let's get of to the, part, Let's get to the back of the card lot. quickly before you destroy my teenage years. Um, so, all about the game. If this model suffers the takeout condition, friendly models gain plus one, plus one inch kick for the remainder of the turn. This doesn't feel super relevant as a punishment. No, I think it's very clear they've made the two weakest punishment mechanics for on the playoffs, the crossovers. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and I think his actually is the weakest. Yes. But that being said, when you are one inch out from the goal with your <laughs> janky ass <laughs> captain goal run and you can kill him to get that goal run. That's a good shot. Or, or honestly, if you're just if like, I'm inches. going for the game winning goal, if I miss this, I lose and I haven't legendary yet. I'll just well kill, just him. kill him. Yeah, yeah. take the dice. Um, he has football legend. The thing is, if he's within four inches, you've got football legend. So yeah. it doesn't make any difference in that situation. Yeah, it's more if it's at the end of the goal run, you won't be within four. Oh, good point. Good point. Um, but yeah, football legend is really good. It's a really that, good play. That made me really happy to see that Shearer has football legend. I won't lie. Um, so he's a 4-7 kick, really. So yeah. one less inch than Bushel, but one more dice. I do think 3-8 is better, mm. uh, personally. But um, Football Legend is very good receiving. Yeah. 
Um, Especially with the dogs, because you've got yeah, one so, activation, yeah. the one activation where they can just ping the ball between them and generate four momentum. Yeah. Um, and so I said the two big advantages Shearer had over Bushel, one was two inch reach. The second the one, one is shearing. Yo. Because unlike Bushels, which I actually think is generally better if you have the ball, but is completely useless if you don't have the ball. Um, so basically, do you want to read, you want to read the rule before yeah. you? Uh... Yeah. So yeah. once per turn during the model's activation, you may choose a friendly harvest marker within two and remove it from the pitch. If it does, this model may make a four-inch dodge. So I mean, what that means is you've actually, yeah, you've got where they go situationally. Yeah. Um, so in, it's good in shepherds. Yeah. Um, I think Lamb is going in the team. Um, because he just brings so many harvest markers. Yes. Um, potentially five, whether you kill him or you um, swing three times and then plant a yeah. monster. Like, you're using lamb in, in shepherds because you need to, quite frankly, if you mm-hmm. want to do any of the shenanigans with the harvest markers, and if you don't want to do the shenanigans with the harvest markers, why are you playing the team? Um, yeah. Um, Shearer in Shepherds. What are you thinking, Shearer or Bushel? You're the you're the. I, yeah. So I think this is the flex slot. I think Shearer, Vet Honor, and um, Bushel are all vying for this spot. Uh, when I first looked at Shearer, I was a huge fan. The, the more I've looked at him, I've kind of fallen a bit out of love with him. But I will say, he's still a TAC 5 model with Mom 2 on 2. Um, mm. So he still does chip in damage properly. He's not a pure striker like some are. And he's got a 4-inch four inch Bible yep. dodge. There's a lot yep, to be said Which is for good for player. lots of things. Um, I do think he's the weakest of the six in terms mm-hmm. of shepherds. Um, however, uh, if you don't play him and you just and you play vet honor, like where are your points coming from other than your captain? Yeah. Um, the dogs. I, the dogs, and I think the dogs, if they are a target, are much easier to deal with. So I think. I'd have to play it out, but I think you do need the striker a lot of the time because yes. you do not want to be scoring turn one with your captain. And I think Shearer... Because if you like, lose your captain, it's real bad. So, like, like we Bushel about, though, with or Herder, Shearer, though, I think, is matchup dependent. Like, like we talked about with her, though, Shearer is a straightforward model. I'm going to sprint yes. eight inches, I'm going to dodge four, and I'm going to shoot seven. Like... He is a straightforward striker, and when you have models like Hook and Crook, which are probably going to eat a lot of clock, having a straightforward one is, you know, there's no harm in that whatsoever. Yeah. Um, so I actually, I actually thought Vet Honor would be the one I didn't think as much about, but looking at it, you're like, man, if if he gets moved away from that marker, mm. his goal runs just off. Yeah. Yeah. Um, before we get on to sort of because, bets, yeah. veteran honor coming down, what do you think of Lamb and Shearer going up? Almost the opposite of what I think of them in Killed. <laughs> yeah. So That's I think Lamb might make the 12. Mm. Might. Um, but, like, I just don't think he's as good as Plowman. No. I think um, between, and I between... think it's very hard to drop the much more unique selling points that Jack Straw and Millstone bring. Yeah. Those those uh, three there's planters. A reason, there's a reason Harrow doesn't see much play. Yeah. yeah. I, um, and he, and Harrow, Lamb reminds me a lot of Harrow. Yeah. And Harrow, like, it's the same thing. Harrow's healing's free and mm. more widespread. And free. And he has marked target. Yeah. Um. So, personally... Uh, I'm not a farmer's player. Lamb might compete for like the 11th or 12th slot and have some really good niche matchup um, where you're playing super uh, marker heavy. Mm. So maybe there's a like Plowman, Windle, Fallow, Lamb list there somewhere. 
Mm. Um, but I don't know. I th- I don't think you're gonna see Lamb a ton in Farmers. Like Lamb um, for me edges out Veteran Honor as the player that doesn't make the twelve. Like he's he's G League for to use a basketball <laughs> reference. Like yeah, um, he's 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 not making my twelve. Um, yeah, there are and, other, and to there be are honest, I think if Plowman was a crossover. You oh. wouldn't see him that much in uh, no. in Shepherds either. Um, Shearer, on the other hand, I think takes my Fallow spot in my twelve because um, right now Fallow is only just making that team, and I think I can do yeah. some interesting things with Shearer, particularly with Grange. If I'm playing Grange, interesting. So, okay, but I've not tried Festival yet. I must admit, but if I am just just looking, you know, Football Legend and for the family stack. Um, yeah. So I I think I, correct me if I'm wrong, but Amber gets up to something ridiculous like a five eleven kick. Uh, so yeah. She starts, uh, no, she goes to three eight naturally, so she'd go to four nine ten. four ten five eleven five eleven ignoring intervening models. That that's pretty good. Right feels good. maybe a bit win more if i'm honest but yeah but also, yeah it's... also he's he's a you know he he's a straightforward football model you know football legend great on the receive like we've said yeah um i think to me his biggest place is i think he would be in every festival list i played because one of the things that makes festivals so strong is you put a lot of pressure on the opponent right away yeah. Um, and Shearer does that better than any of the current farmers when it comes to threatening the ball. Because mm-hmm. on a charge, that ball's gone is live. So yeah, if yeah. they, you know, if they counterattack, you can hit the ball's gone and get the ball back to your team. And if they death stance, you can just hit the mom tackle. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, I think the two inch reach is more relevant there as well. It's just a crowd uh, out, if nothing else. Yeah, for crowds. Um, I think the football legend is really relevant there uh, because you're all bunched together because of the legendary. Mm-hmm. Um, because of the way that farmers project uh, harvest markers further forward, I think shearing is going to be a lot easier to use. Yes. Um, the one thing I'll say going back to Shepherds is I do think if you are going down the kick route and Ram goes and pushes everyone forward, uh, kicking with your captain or shearer and bumping the other one six inches forward does give you a lot of board coverage. Um, but again, the problem with shearer is, uh, yes, he will get the ball, but he's a 4-0 without close control. Yeah, so less if, heard is if he thing. gets camped, yeah. If he gets countered, he's going to lose the ball. 100%. Um, so, I think, yeah, he's, he's a tech piece to me. He's mm-hmm. good. He's really good. And I think he sees a lot more value in farmers where his two-inch reach and good tackle is more of a selling point. Mm-hmm. Uh, because in this guild, you've got a captain with tack seven and a tackle on two. Which is nice. Uh, also... Which is better than Shark at retrieving mm-hmm. the ball. Um, <laughs> you and you're just as fast as Shark. Rooney, the Rooney minutes has, has occurred. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not annoyed about that at all. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so I think, I think in Farmers, I think Shearer will definitely make the 12 yeah. and will definitely see play. And I think Lamb could be situational. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, I don't I... think you'll ever see Shearer in Thresher, though. No. All right, let's leave that there, and we'll come back with episode four and sort of sort of have a quick look at what we think of the guild overall.